Hey, I'm Mark Stevens, author of Government Indicted and Adventures in Legal Land, uh, the radio show, the No State Project, live most Saturdays from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time on the Liberty Radio Network. That's LRN.FM. And uh, just like everything else we present here at the No State Project, whether it's video or on the show or at MarkStevens.net, if you disagree, if you feel you have evidence, especially on this one, please call the radio show. Uh, contact me at markstevens at mail.com. Uh, we can even get you set up as a guest unless you want to just ambush me on a live broadcast, which is cool. Uh, I'm also willing to go on another radio show that you can get set up and we can do a live broadcast that way also. Uh, but the topic of this video has to do with the... Uh, came out this week. It seems to be going viral. It's got well over a million hits so far. The original video, it's about a 19-year-old girl can't prove her American citizenship. So what I want to discuss here is nobody can. It's a myth. It doesn't exist. It's public relations. It's propaganda. It's, it's, it, it's just a way to get you to, to, to obey people, to pay a group of strangers to give them money. Uh, whether, so she laments in the video uh, that she doesn't have a birth certificate or a social security number. Well, the the fact is, it's a myth and demonstrably so. I mean, there's plenty of evidence to prove that, it, that, that nobody has any citizenship. There are no citizens, there are no nations, there are no cities and states, that it's all fictional. That even if you do have a birth certificate, it is impossible to prove that you are a citizen. It's not, it's, it, it's not even in the realm of possibility. Okay, this is not a religious kind of thing where, where people believe something without evidence. This is where people believe that they are citizens in, 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 in despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary that there, there's no such thing as a citizen. But they lead you to believe that so that you will comply. And we're going to go through, we're going to, and, and, and this is one of those times where you can prove a negative. You can prove with overwhelming evidence, irrefutable evidence, that there is no such thing as a citizen, no such thing as states. I wrote about this 11, what, my gosh, back in 2003 in Adventures in Legal Land. And um, we've offered a $5,000 challenge for at least the last five years to anybody who can produce evidence of a citizen in a state. Nobody's able to do that. And I'll point out that legal citations and quoting from Black's Law Dictionary does not qualify as evidence. Uh, those, uh, yeah. That's like saying the, the evidence that the Constitution and Code apply to me is Section 1 of the Internal Revenue Code. Uh, of course, that's our logical fallacy that uh, the Code applies because the Code said so. So let's get to this now. Let's get to this nonsense that uh, uh, is somebody with a birth certificate can be proven to be a citizen. Just absolute uh, falsehood. All right. Uh, first, we have to discuss exactly what a citizen is. We have to know, we have to define our terms so that we know what we're talking about. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to use my old standby, Laurier versus United States. It's the uh, U.S. Supreme Court talking about what a citizen is. It's not the only one. It's just the, it's the easiest one for me to remember. So you go to uh, 231 U.S. Reports, page nine, uh, page 9, and on page 22, you can see what the definition, what a, what, what a citizen is supposed to be. And that is a member of the body politic owing a duty of allegiance in return for a duty of protection. These are reciprocal obligations, one, a consideration for the other. So you need both. You need both. You've got to have the duty of protection, and you've got to have... The duty of allegiance. So we also know that a state is basically a body politic. It's not a geographical location because Arizona didn't exist, and you know, the state of Arizona didn't exist in 1909. Uh, that it's a body politic organized under a government occupying a certain territory. So, like I wrote in Adventures of Legal Land, uh, an example of this is the Palestinians. You got the people, you got the territory. You don't have a state. So uh, never confuse people in a territory with a state. They're, they're not the same thing. This has got to be a body politic organized under a government occupying that territory. So let's look at how we go about proving that there is a citizen, whether you have a birth certificate or not. To have a citizen, like we just laid out, the Supreme Court has laid out the definition many, many times, you have to be a member of the body politic, owing a duty of allegiance in return for duty of protection, and it's that duty of protection where it all collapses. So we're going to go two ways to show that this is, you know, we're going to demonstrate it two ways, completely false that anybody is a citizen, whether they have a birth certificate or not. 
uh, if you look at the sh- cases like this, thousands of them, and it's not just the U.S., it's also Canada, Australia, and England. Uh, I'm sure every jurisdiction has it. If you look here uh, in the U.S., it's Desh- one is DeShaney versus County Winnebago, 489 U.S., page 189, or also Bowers versus DeVito, which is... 686 Federal Second Report, page 616. And this is where they come out and they always give us the same thing. There is no duty to protect anybody unless there's a special relationship there, like where they take you into prison, which is no different than any other tort kind of uh, obligation, okay, uh, than any one of us would have. If somebody's here in the fortified compound and they get hurt, it's, it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm liable for their protection. So, uh, there's no duty to protect anybody, even for madmen. I think that's what they said in Bowers versus Devito. The state is the government is under no duty to protect you, me, or anyone else. Now I know there'll be some that claim. Uh, yes, I uh, try to contact the guys at policeone.com and they refuse to discuss the matter with me, uh, which you'll understand. Um, the idea that the, the, you had the platitude, well, we don't protect one, we protect them all. And that's the same as your insurance company saying to you after you pay the money for a couple of years and you, somebody, you know, you cause an accident and they say, well, you're not covered. Well, but I got a contract. I, 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 I've been paying you. Well, we don't actually cover you individually. We don't cover anybody individually. We cover the whole group. So, uh, it, Anybody with half a brain in their head can realize that's a scam. Uh, if, okay, if, if each individual doesn't, you know, uh, if you're not protecting each individual, uh, you're not protecting. Okay, so they'll turn around and they'll say the obvious. Well, we can't protect everybody. Bingo. So why are you collecting money? Uh, because it's not about protection. So that's one way. We show the legal way that there's no duty of, allegi- uh, of protection, and that collapses the whole thing. If there's no duty of allegiance, I mean, so, I'm sorry. If there's no duty of protection, which they admit, then there's no duty of allegiance. So the two reciprocal obligations making one a citizen are gone. So no duty to protect, no duty of allegiance. You're not a citizen. There is no body politic because, hey, there are no citizens. If there are no citizens and no body politic, there is no state. And that means that it's not a government. It's just literally men and women forcing you to pay them. That's all they are. Or like Lysander Spooner wrote, just a gang of killers, thieves, and liars. Now, the other way we go about doing that go, is it go, because that's what the kill and liars kind of goes into. We look at just the facts, not what the courts have said, uh, although here, it, you know, they, I think they're telling the truth. There is no duty to protect. Uh, but if we look at just the facts, we look at how did the government come about? Were you ever asked, ever given a freely given choice whether it's going to be government? No, of course not. All support is pay or go to jail. It's compulsory. If they were interested in protecting you, they wouldn't be your life, liberty, and property. They wouldn't be violating it by forcing you to pay them. Remember, if I did things like the government types and I forced you to give me money, would you consider me a criminal? Well, same standard applies to everybody. Government is just men and women. That's it. There is no government. There's just men and women forcing you to pay them, and we all can agree that is criminal. So, because they're forcing you to pay, no duty to protect you is created. Therefore, there's no reciprocal obligation of allegiance. So once again, it all collapses. You don't have a duty of allegiance. You don't have a duty of protection. You are not a citizen. The facts are against it, totally against it. If there are no citizens, there is no body politic, no body politic. There is no state. There is no government. They're just people. That we can prove. So... Uh, that's all we need to do to collapse this idea that anybody is a citizen, even if they have a birth certificate, because it still goes into the same basic operating presumption. Well, if you're born in New York, then the Constitution laws apply. You're a citizen. No, there's not a single shred of evidence to support that argument. And the argument being, if you're physically in New York, then the Constitution laws apply to you. But there's no evidence to support that argument. Zero. You could say, but you're here in New York. Got that. What facts do you have that the law applies to me, though? All you can do is, well, the, the law says that's circular logic, that's a logical fallacy, that's not evidence that applies in the first place. So there, it's, it's, uh, it's, what's unfortunate here, too, is not that we, no one's a citizen, that we're being controlled by a bunch of psychopaths who force us to pay them, but the blame here, so much blame is being put on this girl's parents. 
Because she is having a difficult time functioning because the psychopath won't recognize her. Instead of putting the blame on the psychopath where it belongs. Hey, it's wrong to force us to pay you. That, so the, if there's going to be anger directed at anybody, it should be at the ones who are criminals. The ones who are forcing you to pay them. Ugh. But we've got this thing called the Stockholm Syndrome. We've got it, uh, or the Battered su uh, Citizen Syndrome. What was it? The Submitizen. Uh, this idea that you can't, it's a sacred cow to, 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 to question how government gets its money. They steal it. They steal it. So, again, it's really unfortunate to hear, but my point in the video is that not only can she not prove her American citizenship, that even if she had a birth certificate, nobody could prove she was a citizen anyway. She just, because she's got the right paperwork, the psychopaths don't kill her because she's trying to travel or, or go to school or get married or, or whatever. But if you think you can do what the bureaucrats and politicians that I have on my website have not been able to do in over 10 years' worth of diligent investigation by me and others, then you're more than welcome to call the No State Project or contact me at markstevens at mail.com, Skype me at Frank Rizzo 3 I'll even go on another radio show. If you believe that you can prove that there is a citizen or citizens and states or whatnot, I'll go on another radio show because I love to hear the evidence because I've spoken to probably thousands of bureaucrats, and, which includes cops and prosecutors and judges. None of them could, could prove that their laws apply or that there were citizens and states, which includes prosecutors we've confronted directly in court to prove that they had a client and they all failed miserably. But uh, if you think you can, you've got the evidence, I'm more than happy to give you a, ch a chance to be a guest on the show or ambush me on a live broadcast. Again, the web, my name is Mark Stevens. The website is markstevens.net.